What is up, guys? It's your boy Jimmy P, and we're back with that end of year commander decks. I have 38 commander decks here to show you this year. I actually have 39, but you guys have seen Thraxi Mundar before, and it is currently being overhauled, and a lot of the cards have been taken out of it. So it will not be here, but I also have Thraxi Mundar among the decks that have been around for a while. So let's go ahead and start off with the decks that made the cut this year. Anji. Look, at Anji's been doing work. I got some really awesome upgrades from her recently, including that Necrogorth. I got that new demon from the new Vampire Commander deck that has madness that makes him sacrifice creature. A lot of people have been dying to Anji. Fencer. Fencer did some work for me at a tournament this year. Want me some money? Rashmi, uh, any deck that you have that has aliens in it is going to win you games. Uh, the Pirates. The Pirates got overhauled. Got some awesome wins stealing permanents with that. Croesus. That deck is on the possibility of getting taken apart. Marath is also on that window. No, I have a lot of decks. All right, so that's the old decks that have made it from previous videos. Let's go on to the new decks that I've gotten this year. All right, the first row, because I got a lot of new decks this year. So I took apart Asperia because it was too slow. I also took apart Guafa, which is crazy. Guafa been around a long time. Turned it into this beast, like the ultimate blue-white control deck I always wanted. Taking extra turns. It's just a little taste of the kind of pain I'd be bringing. Yeah, that's an OG bribery. Teferi, Teferi, Cyclonic Rift. Just anything that you could think of. All the counter spells, all, all the cool blue, all the cool white. It's in there. Oscar, one of the new commander decks for this year. haven't had very much success with this deck to be honest with you i've been asking other people that bought the deck if they like it and i've been getting mixed reviews but of course you know we're sacrificing artifacts to do ruthless stuff so i've got my top tier ruthlessness spine of ish ash duplicate meteor golem all destroying stuff all exiling stuff i wanted uh extra taxi because that's one thing i noticed when i was playing the deck out of the box is that you needed to be more aggro, so I put Aurelia in there so that I could be getting extra combats. Because you, you're getting double the creatures when you're sacrificing. Well, at least you should be when you're playing Oscar. I made a wart deck. I never thought I'd ever make green red goblins. But here it is. Oh, that's not a goblin, I know. But uh, with all the goblins, why not play Golta? Make Golta real cheap. Strip mine because I mean, every goblin deck should have. A Krinko, Kikajiki, you know, I've got uh, all the good goblins in there as far as like mid-tier, Goblin Chieftain, Goblin King, Siege Gang Commander, that kind of stuff. We got a lot of burn spells in there too for that old conspire with the goblins. All right, so here's Tigrid. I've been having a lot of fun with this deck. I have won some games. Like, it's it's pretty easy. If you can get card advantage and you start getting in some of these enchantments or you start making them discard early with your discard, it gets pretty nasty. Stealing stuff that you make them sacrifice or discard is just so freaking fun. Tigrid is a 4-5 with Menace on her own, so, she, you know, playing her is worth the 5 because you're coming in with them beats. All right, so here's Ave, the progenitor ooze. I decided to make an ooze deck. I don't know why. Just sounded fun. Playing all the crazy oozes, Bioways, Blah, Predator, Ooze, Experiment 1. You know, I got the overruns. I got Overwhelming Stampede. This is pretty much just an aggro ooze deck with a lot of uh, brutal green removal, blowing up their lands, blowing up their artifacts, and then coming in with the oozes. I don't think I've won a single game with this deck, though. 
But it's kind of fun. I've done some crazy storm counts with Ave and had some pretty giant oozes. Calia. Always wanted to build me a Calia deck. Finally got one when Double Masters came out. This deck is stupid. All kinds of just ruthless crap. Orcus. Gasselia. Piru, the Volatile, Balefire Dragon, just to kind of give you a taste of the brutality that comes out when I'm using Kali as attack trigger, Cry. There's just all kinds of fatty demons, dragons, and angels in this deck. I mean, that's what you play when you play Kalia. Alright, so first up, here's that Strephon, the Mar Progenitor, the Blood Token, the newest of the Commander decks. Of course I'm going to play Rakdos Vampires when... When I get the chance to play him, oh, I had so much success with Anji over there. This deck is really fun to run. You got Narcana Revenant, which I can't believe that they reprinted. Cordial Vampire, Malakir Blood Witch. That Markov Enforcer is pretty neat. This ability with the it's so easy to make blood tokens, and then you're just playing tapped and attacking vampires that stay in play after combat resolves freaking crazy he's cheap he's a 3-2 flyer so he's got evasion like this deck has so much potential i just haven't got it to where i need it yet over here vega you've already seen a deck tech on that won't go too much into detail because you could just go watch that if you want to deep dive into that same with xanathar both new decks this year Isochron Scepter, Dramatic Reversal Combo for your face. Codex Shredder. Oh my gosh, that card is so brutal in this deck. You pretty much just edit what they're going to draw and you take everything else. Sublime Epiphany because, yeah, I'm a dick. Uh, Tracks, uh, that's top secret. Nevin Rule, Urborg, Tyrant. This deck is... I haven't won a single game with. Uh, he's on the verge of getting taken apart already. He's just not that good as far as the commander. He costs way too much for his ability. He should cost like one less. Of course, you got the Grim Grin Gravecrawler combo. Twilight's Call because I be blowing a lot of stuff up here because of his ability. You're just constantly doing Nevenril discs. Be able to get that stuff back with Twilight's Call is very helpful. Undead Alchemist is like one of my favorite zombies of all time. It's won me many games. And finally, we got Vryn over here, the voice of duality. This deck has undergone many changes. Originally, I was actually playing Zaffy as the commander trying to get the grafted exoskeleton combo where you cast a 10, X, a 10 casting cost spell and then you just do 10 damage to a fool straight up with his ability but it just wasn't working i've had a lot more success with Varin. i've actually won like one or two games because of the abilities that it has uh stacking plus one plus one triggers on it with uh cheap cantrips and then crazy spells like this rousing refrain that just keeps going off every three turns so you just start getting uh like a spell stack going on and you're just making Varin so big and you smash face that epic experiment is an amazing card. Uh, I wish I had a couple more. I want one for Karanos really bad. And so there you have it. 38 Commander decks. 39. You just can't see Thraxy Mundar right now. I think next year is going to be kind of a slow year, to be honest with you guys, as far as magic. Because the prices of magic cards are becoming outrageous absolutely outrageous i am interested in new capenna because i'm the idea of demon gangster crime bosses sounds amazing i am probably going to get some magic cards for christmas that always seems to happen so i'll probably make some decks based on that stuff so we're not completely out of it i just don't know how much new new i'm going to be getting into it's just getting crazy anyways i hope you enjoyed this video let me know what kind of commander decks you built this year let me know if you uh, are looking forward to any of these new decks for Commander on the Horizon with any of these new uh, sets. Until next year, I'm your boy Jimmy P. Buy more MTG.